What's up guys, in today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to install Fortnite on your Windows 11 computer. This could be a desktop PC, a Surface tablet or even a laptop. So the very first thing you need to do is install Epic Games Launcher. And to do this, you can quickly go to your favorite web browser and then go to epicgames.com, click on download and install the application. In fact, I have a video that explains the step-to-step -step procedure of installing Epic Games on Windows 11. I'll link it down below in case you need to go and watch it. But the first step is to go to the Epic Games website, click on the download button to download the Epic Games client. Anyway, once you download and install, you should have a desktop icon here, or you can launch it from the start menu if you click on the start button and search Epic Games. You can see it's an application on your computer. Now Epic Games belongs to the same company that makes Fortnite. So your Epic Games account is actually your Fortnite account. And so now with Epic Games Launcher installed on your Windows 11 PC, simply go to the search function, click on that, and then search for Fortnite. Type Fortnite, hit enter, and as you can see, the Fortnite game is here and it's completely free. That's because we are using the Epic Games Launcher. So there you go. There's a game. It's completely free. You can read some extra information about the game if you want to. And now all you need to do is click on get this yellow button on the right. And then of course you have to read and agree with the end user license agreement. If you do click on that, you actually have to before you can click accept. And you'll be taken to the checkout page where you'll pay a total of $0.00 because the game is free and then click on place order. Once the order is processed, you can now go to the library and you should see Fortnite there. Click on it and then click on this checkbox, accept, choose a download location, the folder and the path. Everything should be fine. You should leave everything the way it is unless you have a special need and then click on install. Of course, you have to give permission. Do you, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click yes. And the installation process should begin. Now, a little window might pop up telling you to add friends from Steam or Facebook. You can do that later, so I'll just close that. So once the download is complete, you can now go to your library and you should see that Fortnite is installed and ready to launch. Now, of course, you can launch it from here, from inside Epic Games software. And also, there's a desktop shortcut created automatically on your desktop. So in future, you don't have to launch Epic Games to be able to start Fortnite. You can start it right from the desktop shortcuts. In fact, let's close Epic Games and launch it from here. Thanks for watching and good luck.